Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Bolivar's Dream playthrough here in Victoria 3. I nearly said Imperator Rome then. <laughs> Where things are going, well, I have a free government reform, but I don't really need to at the moment. I know a lot of you, so I've recorded ahead, and a lot of you have been shouting out to me to go for the, um, to go monarchy. Um... I'm tempted. I mean, it's a nice percentage like it, but I would also piss off the intelligentsia a huge amount. So for now, I'm probably going to leave it because the intelligentsia are quite powerful. So keeping them happy is probably a good thing. I mean, let's have a look how powerful they actually are as a group. Um, 18%. So it's a tricky one. I need to do more things. Yeah, they are very Republican. So, yeah. Um, oh, it's a tricky one. I just think it would be funny to complete Bolivar's dream as a monarchy. But I, I, I might consider it once we've got our, our radicals much further down. Um, for now, it's getting our economy as solid as we can while we're still getting money from Mexico, which is slowly dying. Poor Mexico. Though I probably want to keep them as a nice buffer state, daft as it sounds. Do I have an interest declared there? Yes. Yeah, let's keep them with an interest declared because that will really help me long run. And let's have a look at my groups, actually. So the industrialists and the intelligentsia do not like me. So realistically, anything I can do which would help them. Laissez there would like the industrialists would like that. But yeah. Hmm. Nobody now likes public health insurance, but we've got it. God damn, of course. So charity hospitals, no health system. That would help the... Hmm. Ah, restricted child labor. I... Nobody dislikes it, but I'm going to leave it for now. Um, yeah, no, that's definitely not liked enough to do anything. Migration controls. Very, very little difference in it. I thought I would piss off a lot of groups. So we've got legacy slavery, so actually... Seriously pisses off the landowners, does it do enough? No. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a tricky position here. Because, yeah, and I basically don't really want to piss off other groups too much. Hmm. Honestly, I don't think I can afford to change it. The only thing I might change is this. Because charity hospitals is generally supported by everybody. The trade unions don't like it, but, you know. No, I'm going to stay with public health insurance. I'm going to leave everything as is. No, 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 that's the one I'll change. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Child law, labor. There we go. One day we'll get compulsory. Uh, schooling for them, which makes my people more intelligent. Which is good. Nice. I mean, okay, admittedly, we are currently making all our money from the fact 
that we <laughs> are stealing a big chunk of Mexico's income. Which is possibly not the best way of doing it. Oh, fish. Oh, valuable. Let's get some more fisheries in then. It's just a food stuff, but it's a fairly solid food stuff. The other thing I should probably check is canneries. It's predicted income is quite low. It's always tricky though, because, you know, it predicts my income some of these places to be negative even though it's definitely positive but we really want to keep throwing our industry out I probably want to get a few more construction centers because as I have discovered from other playthroughs if you've got enough construction centers you can build multiple things at once no I would probably be pulled into the, potentially be pulled into their market I think I don't know exactly how that works but if we're open what? They are in a customs? What? Okay, that surprised me. Can I bring these guys in? Sorry, I'm being war. I'm being war warry again. I actually think I've got too many generals at the moment, but. Please, please let Mexico get involved again. Because it would just be hilarious. As I kick their ass out of here. Ah, Mexico can't even get involved. Where the hell are they? I suspect they may just capitulate. We created them. They should be ours. There we go. Ah, these guys. They're a British protectorate, so I don't want to go pissing them off. At some point, Peru is gonna get faced off against but my military is not really quite big enough just now so we'll see now, right does this sorry I want to check something Buildings. Construction center. Uh... So it would cost me more in government rate wages. Let's find somewhere where they're actually open. So actually they are quite expensive. But are they costing me money when I'm not building anything? Hang on. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I know I just did something silly, but I wanted to check how it worked. So, yes, they do cost money, even when they're not being used. So, I, while they're nice to have, I don't want to go nuts on them. But they are something I could reduce down if needs be. Did 
Damn, pause my buildings. There we go. Stuff and things are going well. Ooh, Afro-Caribbean people who are attacked and killed. Eh, there's nothing we can do. It's terrible. I know that's evil, but... We're getting there. We are getting there. This isn't quite going down as quickly as I'd like. But we are slowly getting there. Things are getting better. I'm still building, that's why. Wait, what? Clippers. What makes clippers? Shipyards. Can I build any shipyards? Yes. And I could potentially sell them to other countries. There we go. Go. Instantly going up. Ooh, fishing trawlers, but it uses more clippers, so I would potentially lose money by doing that, but we probably want to go that way long run. How are we doing? Oof. Wow, he is... Sorry. Okay, right, I need to do something here infrastructure-wise, because that's not good. Railways are seriously expensive. And, I mean, I know you move stuff around faster with them, but I don't know how it's tricky to work out. That's where I think I'm going to struggle, because I've not got to that point before. What's up with Guatemala? Okay. Interactions. If they try and declare independence, I will just go squish. I'm going to be honest. I want these shipyards first. One shipyard to start with. Basically, as soon as this is over, I'm just going to have another war reparations war with them. Is that mean of me? Ooh. You must resign immediately. Let's have a look at my laws again. It's just the fact it would piss off my intelligentsia so much. No, we're going to leave it as it is for now. Our articles are slowly climbing again, which is a bit annoying, but... We can cope, put my tax up to normal for the moment. I want to push that up. Put it right down. I don't need to. Oh, the radical party.
Am I still bolstering these guys? Yeah. Ah, so these are laws. They are. Oh, this is useful. Um. Basically, I'm looking for something which wouldn't piss everybody off. That one. Would still piss people off, and I can't implement yet anyway. I would have to undo state religion, which. Uh. Would seriously piss a lot of people off. So, no, for now, we're kind of stuck where we are. Oddly. This region's just got too much crap built in it, basically. That's probably my fault. Hmm. Yep, I don't care. We're about to have a shipyard making more clippers, which will hopefully help with some of this stuff. Yeah, I don't care that Guatemala's got poor re relationship with me. Modern sewage. There we go. What does that do? Better infrastructure. Mm, no. Human rights. There we go. That's got a few things which people like in it. Has that made our clippers a bit cheaper at least, I hope? A bit. I do want to get another one of them going. I mean, that's going to go through the roof cost price-wise. But it's costs I'm having to spend. So it's not really beneficial for me. But what would I get if I traded them? Not much, other than to brew. So somewhere I could see I could see somewhere, and I can't remember where it was, that I could see the, um... Ah! That's our market access issue, isn't it? Using 25 of 19, that's the issue there, so hopefully these will fix it. Ah! We've made them actually cheap! Look at my shipyards, actually. Hmm. Um. Make them military ships not worth anything, so not worth it. Oh no, my clippers. It's not profitable now, so that's good. That's good, though, all around, because that means that these places will be importing enough to really be uh, sorting themselves out. I hope. Total of five infrastructure. So, yeah, I need two.
Oh. Uh, anywhere else got any of those buildings? Oh, bloody course not. I actually have an easy way of fixing this. Um, let's check if we've got any anything on from here. Oh no, that's bloody authority. Trade. Markets. Trade routes. Do I have any? Yes. We are importing paper. Let's stop importing paper. There we go. That'll fix that for now and potentially also bankrupt us a bit, but you know. No paper still at a reasonable price. So there we go. That's good. Our ports are increasing, which should increase our utilization. Um, none of these places are really worth taxing yet. Just our main places we're taxing. Soon. Ooh, Afro-Caribbean people are... I, it's horrible for them at the moment. There's not much I can actually afford to do about it because I don't want to piss too many people off. These laws are inhuman. I don't need to implement any other taxes. In fact, I can probably lower. Let's do. Is there actually any benefit to this? Oh, the intelligentsia approve of it. Oh. What's the benefit? Uh, per level plus five construction. Increases employment, but uses more goods. Makes us more money. There we go. Oh, does not make us more money. Costs us a lot more money. What is the benefit of it? Uh, increases employment. So more people are employed in my businesses. Oh, and that's why it's costing us so much though. Because it basically doubles my construction. Yeah. While I'm well off, I'll do that, but I might stop that later on. Right. Oof. Yeah, we're also struggling for materials again because iron has gone cost of iron has shot through the roof. Do I have anywhere else I can get iron? Yes, how are we here on infrastructure? We've got plenty of infrastructure here. Let's get a couple of iron mines out there then. I don't need that dockyard. Did 
So while this is costing us more, it's not necessarily bad. Ooh. Right, let's have a look at my barracks. Because I could probably change these up a bit. Oh, do I not have any barracks in my capital? Just say. Right. Extra power protection, they need more ammo. Um... Let's see this. Smooth boy is worth it. I need to get opium for that. There we go. Skirmish. Kind of wish you could change this for all of them at once. Oh, hang on. Can I do that in buildings? Ah. That is going to cost us more, but makes my military that much more effective. Oh. No, for these guys, I don't care. That is substantially more expensive, though, being the problem. But affordable. So while it doesn't increase the size of my military, it makes my military that bit punch harder. They've got 38. Hang on. So what they've got? They've got 38 plus 6. We have... Twenty-six plus nineteen. So we're similar, but I would like a few more barracks before I even consider it. So I want to expand that at least a couple of times, and we also need to build a new building, which can be built here actually. We need a munitions plant. Again, for now. Because I've got the money to burn, we are going to push that up. because I've got the stockpiled income to burn through. And I might even need more lumber. Ooh. Unable to fully hire, that's a problem. Don't want to go nuts, but because if you can't fully hire, it's not always worth pushing out. That's still good, though. Ooh, yeah, that's our problem now. Though again, I when I pop this down, it's probably going to screw a bit of my economy, but we just get to invade Mexico again. If only, if only I could beat Brazil, though. We should still be, yes, we are good friends with Brazil. Hmm. 
We're in a bit of a, a slow patch now. We're doing well. How long until our... Oh. So I think that's about to end. Oh no, that's going to be from... Yeah, okay, in that case. It's time for another war, guys. With Mexico. It's going to war them just so I can force war reparations on them evil. Or smart. I mean, let's be honest, it's something which was done quite a lot in wars. That would be evil. So Russia and Canada will probably join them, so I may have fucked up. Question is, do I want to back down yet? Can I sway anybody onto my side? Okay, for this we are conscripting it up as well, just in case. I mean, again, I may have seriously screwed up here. But I am committed. To my fuck up. Shit, they've defensive packed into them. You know what? If it's just war reparations, I'm going to fight because there's a chance I will win before their backup gets there. And I have a butt ton of forces to come with me, so. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, war recommendations off them. Be insanity. It's not going to happen, but. Right, while we're here. I'm fucked up. Let's try and form a defensive front. I've lost this. Yeah, bollocks. I'm not even going to try. I, I fucked up. Um. But we can soak it. I want to increase my military a bit because I want to go against Peru Bolivia at some point. I didn't realize they defensive packed it up. 
uh, annoyingly, which wasn't great. Um, anyway, with that terrible disappointment, I think it's time to stop for today. I'm going to leave Mexico alone for now until they're a bit more vulnerable again. Um, as always, thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope you are enjoying this. Please do like and subscribe if you want to see me get bullied by Mexico. <laughs> Mexico and me are just trying to bully each other and, yeah, and, and, and regularly failing either way. Uh, but no, Peru, believe it, basically my next time I'm going to try starting expanding our influence down the sides and obviously continuing to build up our economy. Um, obviously I've got plenty of going on at the moment. I can probably turn off my building. Um, this learns this down as well to help my economy, but we're doing fine at the moment, so we'll keep that going. Uh, other than that, guys, as always, as I said, thank you for watching, and an extra special thank you to our channel members, patrons, Monster Bound, Philip F, Unnamed, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, and Jarrett Horn. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Cheers, all.